Noel and I have been in business now for it's about 38 years with our own trucks and to get a phone call out of the blue to say that truck rolled over as recently as about four months ago, it, it really just shocks you, it hits you, hits you to the core. Obviously your first concern is, is the driver all right? You know, you think, you know, is he all right? But usually the people telling you that, that's the first thing they say, look, the driver's all right, but, um, but you've had a truck go over. And so I just feel tingly and I just get goosebumps even thinking about it because it's, it's just the last thing you want to hear. Uh, we have had an incident where a driver didn't make it, which was our son, so that was pretty big. Yes, uh, I'm Stewie Storr and I uh, run eight trucks out of South Gippsland, um, all cattle trucks. After 40 years of driving and probably 10 million k's, I uh, was unfortunate to have a, uh, an accident and a rollover on the um, entrance to the Balti Bridge. Well, we're having a number of rollovers in the area with yeah. trucks. There was just too many, quite a few log trucks were rolling over and it really got me thinking about what we could be doing to reduce the number of these rollovers and the impact it has on people, on businesses and on, on the whole communities. The forestry industry operates obviously in this sort of bush type environment, uh, roads are small, gravel roads, that sort of thing. And over the years we have had a number of truck rollover accidents, um, minor accidents as well, but the truck rollovers are the ones that cause the most damage. Some of the drivers that were rolling trucks were the last people you would actually expect to roll one. The blokes have got years of experience and I've got a heap of respect for, but they'll still putting them over. Now, I've been in the industry uh, probably 30 or 40 years and, and every now and then there's somebody goes over the edge or rolls a trailer and you'd think, well, how on earth did that happen? Because he's a very capable driver and, and experienced, but from time to time over they go. The more we looked into it, the more certain I was that we could actually do something to reduce it. There's a lot of things we could do, particularly in the area of education, and that's before we even touch on engineering, whether it's the roads or the rigs themselves, or just any other aspect of the way the industry operates. But I needed someone to take a good, hard look at it from the outside, someone who could approach it like a problem to solve, and I found him. He was a bloke by the name of Chris Stevens. Chris is an engineer and consultant, but what really got me, he grew up on a farm and has driven plenty of trucks. He's got a background in solving tricky problems for the automotive industry. Together, we developed a presentation that was shown to many sectors of the transport industry, and it seems to work. It's actually helped reduce the number of truck rollovers by a huge amount for the groups who have taken part. Previous to making the presentation, about every six months, 16 log trucks were rolling over in the eastern part of Victoria. The six months after we put the program together and presented it to the logging industry, we had zero. And it was Chris who right back at the start struck on something that sort of headed us in the right direction when we were watching some rollover footage. <laughs> 